There are certain properties we expect to hold true for our aggregate production functions based on assumptions we make in macroeconomics. So first up, we're going to have a look at marginal products. To be more specific, the marginal product of labour and the marginal product of capital, which we can define like so. What we're interested in is how does GDP change for a change in labour, or else held constant, and how does GDP change for a change in capital, or else held constant. To get those, we just take the partial derivatives. Now an assumption we make with both of these is that they should always be positive, or at least non-negative. After all, if you add an input, you expect that you will get more output. Certainly it should never be the case that if you add more of an input, you get less output. So these should be greater than or equal to zero for all values of L and K. We have an extra assumption about marginal products though, and that is that we have diminishing marginal products. The marginal products of these factors of production should be positive, but as the factors themselves grow, we expect that the marginal product will decrease. So if we look at the change in the marginal product of labor or of capital, as labor or capital changes, that should be negative. And it's not too hard to see that if the marginal product is just the partial derivative of GDP with respect to the factor, then the partial derivative of the marginal product